hey guys welcome back to my channel ag motion designs and in today's video we are going to create this simple text reveal inside of after effects without using any third party plugin but with the help of simple and cool techniques so without wasting any more time let's get started So here we are in Adobe After Effects. Let's create a new composition. As always, we will call it as Main Animation. Width is 1920. Height I'll take 180. Frame rate should be 30 seconds. Duration is also 30 seconds. And background color is white. And simply hit OK. Choose Grid and Guide option and simply hit Titles Affection. Now I'll choose Ellipse Tool. I don't want any stroke. The only thing I need to care about over here is this fill. I'll create one circle over here press ctrl alt home to align that anchor point to the center go to the align tab align it horizontally and then align it vertically like this now choose our text and choose appropriate front and appropriate color i'll choose black color over here and i'll type my text over here like m and i'll increase the size like this select this text press ctrl alt home Go to the align tab and align it over here press v and i will move this thing over here like this now select this shape layer press p for position create one keyframe over here and around two seconds let's say i'll move this thing over here like this if we hit play we will get this kind of animation now create one null object Select this shape layer, make it apparent with this null. Select this null, press R for rotation, create one keyframe over here and at 2 seconds I will make it 1. So if we hit play, we will get this kind of stuff. I think we need to make it minus 1. Let's see how does it looks. Now select those keyframe, hit F9, go to the graph editor, select this graph and by holding shift I will drag it over here select this one and drag it over here so if we hit play we'll get this kind of stuff or instead of that select those things go to the graph editor select this graph and by holding shift i'll move it a little bit over here and select those keyframes zoom in a little bit and make those keyframes around one second like this I will move those keyframes a little bit over here. I think this one looks good to me. Now select this shape layer, press S for scaling option. Initially, I will make it 0. I will create one keyframe over here and around 1 second, I will make it complete 100. Like this. Now after that, I will select this text and let's say at this point i'll make it let's say at this point i'll make it my text parent with the shape layer at this point so it will rotate with this one also and let's say around this thing select this text press s for scaling options scale it a little bit now press p for position create one keyframe hit u and at this point again create one keyframe on position and scale now at this point i'll scale it and i'll completely move this thing inside of this circle like this now select this shape layer press ctrl shift d and delete it now if we hit play we will get this kind of animation and go over here select this text press alt open bracket to trim this text now select all of them and make sure you are enabling this motion blur option so we'll get this kind of animation now select this shape layer go to the effect and presets panel and simply apply eco effect on it like this 
and I'll increase the echoes around 30. I'll select this time code. I'll remove this 3 over here and type 0. So we'll get this kind of animation. But as you can see, we are getting some glitch over here. So to get rid of this, what I'll do initially for this echo around, let's say around this thing, I'll create number of echoes. I'll create one keyframe. Now hit U and at this point, I'll make it complete zero. And now if I see your animation, we'll look this kind of stuff. Now after this thing, we need some bounciness over here. So for that, what we will do, I'll select those keyframes and I'll move them over here. And again, I'll keep create keyframe on position and go around 20 frames forwards and again, create one keyframe on position and in middle of them, simply drag this thing over here. Now select those keyframe, hit F9, go to the graph editor, select this graph by holding shift i will drag it over here and drag this thing over here so you get this kind of bounces select this graph move this over here select this one move this over here let's see how does it looks so we will get this kind of animation now select all of them, press Ctrl Shift C and let's call it as M. Now as always, we will hit Ctrl 0, we will select this M, hit Ctrl D, enter, I will call it as O, hit Ctrl D, enter, I will call it as T, hit Ctrl D, hit enter, I will call it as I, hit Ctrl D, enter i'll call it as n now go inside o double click on it and instead of m i'll type o over here go inside this t com i'll call it as t i i'll call it as i and in n sorry in n i'll call it as n like this now all we need to do, we need to adjust it accordingly. So I'll select this O, I'll drag this over here, press V for position, I mean for selection tool and adjust this position. Same for T. Same for I. Then again for O. And drag this in like this let's see how does it looks it will look like this select all of them and move this thing over here now as always we need to adjust them alternately so at 5 frames I'll move this over here 10 frames I'll move this over here with the help of open bracket Like this select all of them and adjust it properly press ctrl y to create one solid background i'll call it as white color and this is our final text reveal animation and as always if you want to change the color create one adjustment layer and simply apply tint effect on it and you can swap those colors So I hope you guys have enjoyed this tutorial. If you like this tutorial then please consider to subscribe this channel and also hit the bell icon for more updates. And if you want to watch after effect tutorials in Hindi then please consider to visit my another channel called AG Animations. Link will be available in the description. Until then stay tuned.